hello everyone welcome back to the second video of a to z blogging series in the last video we have seen how we can uh, purchase our domain and hosting and also we have seen how we can install wordpress successfully so now our domain and hosting is ready to proceed so in this video let's see what we are going to do so let's have a preview of it so in this video we are going to see how we can uh, install wordpress theme how we can update the logo title and tagline and the main menu social sites then footer how we can add a contact form then how we can update the front page how we can add disclaimer and privacy policy then how to add pop-ups in a website and how to remove the wordpress credits so this is the final look that we are going to have of the blog so if you want to know how you can achieve what you saw in the preview watch this video till the end and get all the insights so the first thing we are going to do is search and install wordpress theme so click on customize your site on your dashboard and go to theme and click change click on wordpress.org themes here you will find the themes just search for blog and you'll have multiple themes if you click on one you can see the preview of that uh, theme okay so select any appropriate theme and that you want and uh, if you are okay with it then just click on the button install and preview to start installing now your theme is installed successfully so that's it this is how you can search and install your own wordpress theme for your own blog or website now the next is uh, how we can set the logo title and tagline of your website so you just have to go here if you can see the edit buttons are available so just click on it and uh, this uh, editor will be open so you just have to provide the title let's uh, give it as sanitize your soul then you just have to update uh, the tagline you can enter anything you want let's enter connect with your inner self okay and you can select if you want to display the title and tagline or not using the checkbox then just select logo to enter your icon or logo and select any image if you want to crop image you can crop the image and you can uh, proceed and it will be set now next you can also um, set your site icon so you can select the same image or any other image and crop it and use the image and it will be shown uh, against your website so the next as uh, we are going to see how we can add menu to our website so just go to the menus option here you'll see the different options just click on primary and uh, here you can add multiple links or multiple pages that you want to display you can reorder them if you want according to your choice and uh, here you'll have to select the menu location like select the primary one if you want to display so you can see the menu is displayed you can check the another checkbox also if you want to add the new pages automatically to the menu so you just have to click on these options and uh, it will do its job automatically that's it next is how you can add social sites to your website so we'll go to the theme options we'll go to social link section and here it will provide you different uh, social sites you can enable them and you can provide the url and it, you can select uh, the location where you want to display it like at the top or at the sidebar or at the bottom and it will be displayed okay now once you save it you can see uh, the top uh, the social links are available and also at the bottom if you scroll the social links are added next is how we can update the footer of our website so let's go to the again the uh, theme options and then the footer so here we have three options footer sidebar one two three so let's go to the first one and add a widget let's add a text and let's say we add about us section so give it a title and some description and just save it and if now if we scroll down to the footer area we can see about a section is added okay so in this way we can add the other uh, sidebar two and three options for footer as well so let's go to the second one and add a widget here so click on add a widget let's add a uh, recent post okay let's provide a title here and provide the number of posts that you want to display here and just click on done and uh, it will be added so as you can see recent post is added 
now let's go to the third one and uh, again add a widget you can add any of these whatever you want let's say we add recent comments so let your audience know the reviews of people who visit your website so let's give the title as reviews and provide the number of count of comments okay and just click on done and all these are added in your footer section so basically your footer is ready in just few clicks next is how you can add a contact form to your website so go to plugins then click on the add new button and uh, you'll have to search for contact form so just write contact form and hit enter now we are going to use the plugin uh, contact form 7 so just click on install now you can use any of the plugins once it's installed just click on activate and uh, yeah it's activated now let's go to appearance and customize and uh, now here let's go to contact page okay scroll down a little bit and there you can see the edit button is available edit link so just click on that edit and uh, you can edit the contact page now if you are clicking it first time this pop-up is going to display you can just navigate through it after this paragraph let's add a new block that is let's add the contact form just click and search for form or contact form and you'll find this option okay now just select this form and it will show three variations that you can add so let's add the first one because we want to get the email about it okay so this is added name email and message with a button so if anyone tries to contact you from here you will get a mail about it now let's edit the paragraph and change it as uh, feel free to contact us okay. okay now let's update it and see how it is going to look so if we scroll down go to contact so this is how it's going to look the form our contact form okay now let's move forward the next is how we can add the about us page okay we already have our about us page so let's go and edit this page so first of all let's uh, edit this footer and change it to about author because otherwise it's going to confuse people so let's change that about author now let's change the about page and change it to about us okay so we can tell uh, people over here about introduce our website and then let's add another block here let's see we add social profiles okay so we can uh, change the size here and provide the links of the social uh, profiles okay we can change the layout basically we can make it circular so whatever link you provide that uh, social uh, profiles will be added you can change the alignment to center and you're done then next let's add one more block suppose that's a uh, let's add a quote um let's add let your dream be bigger than your fear okay now for this also we can change uh, the layout if you want there are two layouts available so let's select the second one and let's align it to center again okay, and let's now change the text color according to our theme so let's select orange you can select any of uh, the one that you want and uh, then let's move it at the top and let's move the social profiles also above this and uh, let's see what else we can add here let's try to add one more block uh, we can add a post carousal so it will display your post with some of the descriptions so you can select how many posts you want to display in the carousel okay then this way you can add multiple blocks to your about us page that makes your website attractive and people would love to visit it so let's update this okay next is uh, how to add disclaimer and privacy policy to your website so we'll have to generate both of these so for disclaimer just go to the website uh, disclaimergenerator.net and uh, here you will find a very simple form that you need to fill up to generate your disclaimer okay so let's enter the details uh, you just have to enter the company name uh, the website name 
then uh, there will be the website url and uh, you will have to click on next button then just enter your country whatever it is then uh, the state that you are in and provide your email address and that's it then you will find a button at the bottom uh, named as generate my disclaimer so just click on this button and uh, your disclaimer is generated so at the left hand side you can see the preview of it uh, then on the right hand side you have the link to refer to your uh, disclaimer and below that you can uh, showing download your disclaimer so you can copy your disclaimer text along with the layout so you don't have to provide any layout it will be uh, like the, you can copy the html format and paste it to your website on your page disclaimer page okay so in this way you can generate your disclaimer now next is the privacy policy generator so uh, go to this uh, url that is uh, privacy policy generator dot info and here you will find uh, the same uh, form that there was on disclaimer if you uh, scroll down so you can see a preview of it that uh, what all things are going to be added in the privacy policy by default so you just have to fill the form just provide your company name just provide your website name and uh, provide the url of your website and uh, then just uh, click on this uh, next button then you answer a few questions like if you're going to use cookies on your website or not if you are going to show advertisement using google adsense or any other third party so you have to answer this and then just click on again the next button then just provide your country whatever country you are in then provide your state then provide your email address then again uh, at the bottom you'll find the button to generate your uh, privacy policy as you can see the green button here so just click on this button and your privacy policy is generating so again at the left hand side you have a preview of it and right hand side you can copy the link or the format the html format of it and you can use it in your page okay so the next one is how you can remove the wordpress credits so let's go here and as you can see at the bottom we have a credit okay powered by wordpress and all that so just go to the additional css add a css for your site info as display none and it will be removed yes it's just one click uh, just save it and just go bottom of your uh, website to check again and yes it's removed so the next is how we can update the site's front page so let's go to the dashboard and click on edit your front page now let's change uh, the text some of your uh, text here the layout is going to be a little different if you are choosing a different theme so but more or less it is the same so you can include some uh, text regarding your website here yeah? about your blog or your website like uh, what the blog is all about and why you created this blog basically so you can uh, update uh, these details here in your front page then next uh, as you can see we have some images so let's just get rid of it let's add a carousel okay of images so let's say uh, we add few images that we want to show us in the carousel so you can select your images from your gallery and uh, this is how it's going to look then you can change uh, the below section you can add uh, let's say a quote you can add let's just add services that we are going to provide uh, through this blog or your website so let's provide images for your uh, services select any of uh, the one that you want and then provide a title or provide a description of the service that you're going to provide because you can name your service here add a section where we are going to tell our visitors about uh, how they can subscribe to our uh, blog to get all the updates and how they can follow add a youtube video here so just provide a link and it will be embedded now let's add the social icons that uh, now again you can provide whatever url whatever you want uh, in the social profiles and uh, it will be updated and you can align it and uh, change the layout and all that so let's see how our front page the final look so this is how it's going to look so let's see how you can add a pop-up to your website so we are going to use the icegram plugin so just go to add new plugin and search for icegram and uh, you'll see the plugin the first plugin this pop-ups 
click on install now and once it's installed just uh, activate the plugin and your plugin is activated now here you can see options to add multiple things so just click on pop up and you can select any of this you can select on the use this button so to use that uh, pop up now here uh, it will show how you can where you can edit the text of your uh, pop up so let's change some of this text and update it you can change you can add an animation or you can change all these options that are available the color and everything and just save it so when you open the website you can see the pop-up is displayed so this is how you can add a pop-up to your website the last is let's have a look at the blog now that we have created so this is our blog we have added the main menu we have added the front page as you can see so this is the final look that we have created together so now this is the blog that i have created using all these steps the similar steps and that is my blog sanitize your soul as you can see so you can check the link in the description you can follow like and share you can also subscribe to my blog if you want to know the latest updates so do check it out in the i have provided the link in the description and uh, i hope you find this video useful and you are able to create your own blog with the help of uh, this video like you, have, you are able to design your own blog so that was the purpose of creating this video because uh, there are many videos on uh, how to purchase domain and hosting but not on how you can design your blog so i was i just wanted to show you and help you out with how you can design your own blog so this is the like the basic uh, designing part that i have discussed like the basics that we, everyone should include in their website or blog so i hope you are able to create your blog with the help of and design your blog with the help of this video there are many other things that uh, one can add to their blog or website to like attract the audience or like other interesting features so i'll be discussing those features in my coming videos so just let me know how you find this uh, video in the comment section and uh, let me know if you have any questions do visit my blog i have provided the link in description i hope you have a great day thank you so much